Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, welcome to today's video. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to fix the pin in your Zippo with the loose hinge. This is a permanent fix. I'm gonna be honest, this is probably the best uh, how-to video I've ever made for a Zippo. Uh, this is what everyone's gonna need to know and I'm gonna go into high detail. There's gonna be a lot of information in this video that I'm giving out, so you're gonna wanna watch this whole thing and listen. Uh, I'm going to bring you through the entire hinge and what's going on here. So you've probably seen a lot of YouTube videos where people change the pin, where people change the pin on the Zippo and they use a nail because it's got a pointy end and fits in that hole and can push it out far enough where you could grab it after and pull it out the other side. The problem with that though is when you're doing that, the rest of the nail is wider than this hole. So when you do that, you're widening this ring and you're putting extensive wear bending it bending it back and it's eventually going to break off if you keep doing that so you can't you don't want to do that now a thumbtack is the exact same size as the hole it fits in the hole and the thumbtack if you ever lose a pin for your hinge a thumbtack is the exact size you break all the plastic off and you cut this to size you cut the sharp piece off and then you cut it on this end and it will be the exact size you need a thumbtack is a good replacement pin if you don't have one or you want to know something that's the exact same size the thumbtack is a good way to go so now that we got that out of the way what you want to do i have a 90s venetian right here 90s venetian uh hinge is a little loose so let's fix that, right? <clears throat> and this is a better fix than any other loose hinge fixing video I've had. Now the loose hinge fixing video I have, that's really just a readjust a cockeyed lid, really, that video. So you can stick your thumbtack in there and push on it. You make sure you wanna have it down. Don't hold it in your hand like this and try to push because you'll push through and you'll stab yourself. So, and that's not what happened here. That was from last week, but so you push and you could see the pins coming out a little bit, right? But we need it out more so we could grab it. So you're gonna work it in there because the holes aren't lined up. That's why the hinge is loose. Uh, hold on, I can't see what I'm doing. And you don't need to hammer this or nothing. You can do this just, there we go. You can do this just just with the thumbtack. All right, now I'm gonna grab my pliers and I'm gonna pull this out. Oh, it might not be all far enough. I'll need it a little farther. Sorry guys, I need to put this on something harder instead of that pad, one second. I'm just gonna push it out a little more. There, okay, so I pushed it out a little more now. And now I'll be able to grab it. I could probably just grab it with the tweezers. There. All right, so that is your Zippo hinge pin. And you will notice it is virtually the same thickness <laughs> as the thumbtack. Thumbtack is your best friend when it comes to a Zippo pin hinge because you could use it as a pin and you could take the pin out with it. All right, so now I'm gonna show you something. Take the insert take the insert out so we can work on this now the problem you're having with your zippo why your hinge is loose look at see these they've been stretched out over time so my pin my pin fits loose in here right there's room for it to play everywhere what you got to do is you got to stick your pin in and now you got to tighten these properly okay you gotta tighten these properly. I'm gonna show you how with the pin in it so you don't over tighten them because if you over tighten them, you can't fit the pin back in, right? So you always wanna tighten them with the pin in. And see how there's the gap close to the case? This is where your squeeze point's gonna be. You're gonna squeeze it like this and you're gonna to try to curl, you're gonna to try to curl that back around the pin. Uh, it's so hard, oh man. It's so hard to do this on video when I'm trying to because the Zippo's far away from my face and I'm trying to see it on video zoomed in. I'd rather just look at it. But, uh, okay, so this is in. Oh, I fell out again. Okay. Sorry, guys, I'll hold my finger there so it doesn't fall out. Okay. 
right, so now you'll just go and you'll just give it a squeeze and tighten it right around it. Tighten it right around it and then you go to the next one. And same thing, you're gonna tighten it and bend it back a bit too because you want it to curl. You want it, You don't wanna bend the things, you want it to curl back around the hinge pin, right? So, there we go, look at that. Now that pin, now that pin is in there tightly and uh, you'll have to pull it back out. It'll come back out if you do it right, see mine, it slips through. But now look at the rings. Now they're not as far away and they perfectly fit around the thing. So now you do it to the lid. You put your pin in. You line it back up. Okay, see this one's a little jiggered too. Hold on, I gotta hold it close to my face. All right, there we go. Okay. So the pin's back in all three holes, right? And you can see they're not sitting there properly. So now we just got to tighten those around the pin again. Uh, and the first one is a little off skew and it needs to come down. So I don't know if you can see that. Oops, no, you cannot. So the first one, you got to grip like this, curl it a bit and pull it back. Right? Okay, there we go. Now that's back into place. This one in the middle, you could see is out of whack. It's got to be curled back in and pushed back in too, right? So you'll do it like this. There we go. All right, now that's lining back up better and it's tight on the pin. All right, and then the last one actually really isn't out of whack at all. I'll give it a gentle squeeze. And I'm gonna work on this middle one a little more because it is a little out of alignment. And there we go. Okay, so that's as good as it's gonna get. And then you push the push the pin back through. Oh, you gotta watch what angle you go on to because you'll miss. There we go. Push the pin back through. Oh, I pushed it back in. Okay, hold on. I'm going to do this off camera. All right, so I pushed the pin back through. Now, if you're wondering why my hands are so shaky, it's because I'm holding them so far away. It's because I'm holding them so far away from my face. Because uh, the camera and everything, and I'm trying to rest them. You know when you when you keep your hands like levitating and they don't hold well and you're trying to do things? Okay, so anyway, so now you put the insert back in because it makes everything just a little bit more easier. And then you take your lid, open it. Okay, hold on. I like doing this closer to my face here because uh, it's a pain in the ass. Alright, so so now you take your lid, it is back on, right? You line it all up, you line it all up, you put your hinge back in, it'll just go right in, no problem. Well, you'll have little problems. Hold on, I'm gonna do it off camera because like I said, I need to hold things close to my face and this is fine work because I got her, the holes are all tight now and this has to be, this has to be perfect. Okay, I got it in. All right, so when you get it in, you'll just have to you'll just have to squeeze it the rest of the way. Oh, I missed. Oh, you can just push it too. But you want it you don't want it overlapping, right? You don't want it hanging out a bit. You want that hinge all the way in. But these Needle nose suck. Oh, I should have had my flat ones. But the needle nose is what you need for the ring, so that's why I have that tool. Okay, it's perfectly in there now. You can see. It's perfectly in there, each side. It could probably go in a little farther, actually. So you take your, take your tack now and you just push it in that little extra. There we go. Now it's even on both sides. Just had to push it in. And guys, that's how you do it. And 
the hinge is a little tighter. Look, it's not, it does have some plate because that's how the hinges work, but it is so not as loose as before. And that's how you can change your pin, readjust, tighten your hinge, anything you want to do. What I normally do after is now that it's in, I'll, uh, I'll pop this open and I'll give it a little, little squeeze on each one individually. Uh, I just go in there and I, I do it one at a time like that. I just give it a little squeeze around the pin and it helps it tighten it more and stuff. But I don't need to do that to the Zippo. I don't use the Zippo. It just sits on the shelf. So, But uh, you see my other videos where I do that. So you can go watch those. So anyways, guys, that's how you change the pin. Uh, those are the tools you use. All you really need is uh, thumbtack and tweezers and needle nose pliers. Uh, so everyone, I hope everyone finds that video useful. And if you have a pin that needs changing, those are the step-by-step -step processes. And uh, everyone take care. Thanks for watching. Share this video around because it's very useful. A lot of good information in it. And uh, take care, everyone. See you in the next one.